soul family welcome to the matrix oracle this is your full moon in scorpio reading the way we're going to do this this cycle we're going to start with the astrology part and then we're going to go by elements according to your personal moon placement so if you are wanting to jump straight to your personal message go for it you have in the description box below the timestamps. Now, if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. And please remember that your likes is supporting the channel to grow. Let's move first to the astrology part. Astrodance is the one website that I really like uh, for this. If you don't know the local time for the full moon, you're going to want to use this website timeanddate.com and then backslash moon backslash phases and then you'll find your location and you'll have the exact time for the event oh it's a pink moon yay um so where we start here with this um star map we start with the moon and we start with the moon in the second house in the placement of scorpio that speaks of prosperity wow now let me um, give clarification about prosperity. Prosperity is a term about longevity, is about what we want to see grow. And that's usually an invitation to also declutter, to look into our garden of creation and make sure that we're paying attention to the weeds <laughs> that we want to remove and um, making some um, you know, maybe illumination about the things that may be growing in our garden that we want to remove. So there's more space for the things that we want, especially here. You see there's the opposition with the placement of um, the sun in Taurus that speaks of cycle. The opposition here speaks of endurance, cycle, patience, you know, all this um, holding the light, holding the intention of your desires but with the full moon, okay, so if you have certain desires, especially in terms of prosperity, abundance, money, your potential, the second house is your potential, your aura here, it can be how you materialize uh, those investments, you're going to really want um, to work with your auric field, okay? Uh, in terms of sacred geometry, I'm right away jumping to the next planet, and it's Pluto, um, in the degrees of Aquarius that speaks of our acquaintances, entourage, friendships, but really it's like the things that we do on a daily habits that just on a daily um, routine, like the daily bread, like the things that you do and that are going to attract also how you prosper. The fact that it's a T-square energy, this is one of the most volatile sacred geometry this is like a boom <laughs> okay so this full moon already with the effect of the illumination with the fifth house there's going to be realization about the things that we do in terms of our self-expression uh, or things that we don't do in terms of our self-expression and what they are so there's going to be revelation about certain shadows that may be tying us it seems that here you know our way to manifest money manifest what we want our desires um, seems to be of the essence now we're moving to the sixth house and we have saturn in pisces and we have mars also and we have neptune just on the descending line border seventh house here and there's a lot going on in the seventh house okay so let's talk about the sixth house here we're about alchemy this uh is the master of action reaction so it's speaking of alchemy and transmutation and here with the position of mars making sure that you're feeling um you're feeling held you're you're having the tools you're being guided through your transformation because you know pisces is a unifier so it does have a lot of wisdom from a whole cycle here that you've spent through the zodiac neptune here is still in the degrees that wants you to end certain patterns certain things certain maybe even relationship for some of you okay so some of you 
in terms of your health, um, if you're feeling any type of lower energy, brain fog, stagnancy, uh, especially the Pisces is related to uh, the feet, so maybe feeling scared to move forward, but also in terms of the meridian is linked to the liver, so anything that is toxic to you, this is going to show up in your health. So pay attention uh, when we're coming closer to uh, April 23rd, as this full moon in Scorpio wants you to see, uh, even through the lens of your health, the patterns, the thoughts, the emotions, maybe the relationships that you're still, you know, uh, feeding um, that uh, needs to dissipate. Now, I'm paying attention to this other sacred geometry, which is called um, protective shield. It's a shield of fate. And we have here Neptune at the apex, Pluto, and then Jupiter and Uranus that are dancing together. Wow. In the degrees that speaks of joy. Wow. So here, look at this. We're being really with this full moon to pay attention to end the cycle of whatever depresses us, you know, like what could put a shadow on our joy. And also here, the creative patterns, the routine, maybe the entourage, uh, the daily habits, the things that we do, maybe also on automatic. Um, because Aquarius being 11th house energy is very much connected to your neurons, to your network. Uh, it's going to affect your brain patterns. So there's a lot of destructuring of brain patterns here, um, probably connected to uh, what makes you feel, you know, out of alignment with your purpose, with your love, with your joy. I got to share with you guys. I had this dream two nights ago um, about creating a frequency for the pharmacy uh, for depression. And I'm seeing it like here. This is just so aligned with this energy. So I'm very grateful uh, that I will have some tools for this, um, especially if you see it's in the shadow work. Uh, maybe some of you, there's been some stagnancy about your prosperity, about moving forward, um, because there is some, um, some experiences that left you depressed because it created mental patterns, you know, action, reaction, things that you might not fully grasp uh, how to get yourself out from. Now, let's look at all this little cluster. We got the North Node. We got Mercury that's still in retrograde. Then we have Chiron and then we have Venus. So all this plethora here is speaking of, I love it, your power, power of initiation, power to be initiated, but also rectifying anything that is in the way of your highest, truest potential. And you see it, it's in the seventh house. And yes, this is about relationship, but your closest and most intimate relationship is the one you have with your higher self and with source. So your higher power. So here we're seeing that we are divinely guided by our higher selves to be initiated, to find more power, to also with the Mercury retrograde in those degrees, find the things that are disempowering us, find the program, Find the matrices and a step out of them. And we're, this could be very intense, let's be honest. Um, some of you, if you have T-squares in your chart, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but there is such uh, an opening, an opening for something greater that I'm feeling. You know, it's just the, the focus is from, from here, your aura and how it's affecting your self-expression, your health and how you put yourself to service and how you're being guided through this process uh, in your relationship, in your materialization, in your connection and, how, and your ventures. Um, so there's a lot to be discovered through this full moon in Scorpio. I'm loving this. Not surprised. Scorpio uh, likes to deep dive. Okay. So that's what I have in terms of astrology. Let's jump to the moon placements according to your personal placement and elements. If you were born with a water moon, so moon in Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, those messages are for you for this full moon in Scorpio. So 
So let's get started with the shuffling of your pile. So if you were interested to look into the astrology, there's a lot of messages about your abundance, uh, removing some of the programs around abundance, uh, maybe those blocks. This is interesting. Yeah, it's, it's been coming up. Uh, what can make you feel depressed? All right, some dragon energy here. Hmm, interesting. And this one. Okay. All right. So we start, my dear water moons, with the antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. With the number two here, in the angles of the zodiac, this is an Aries placement and it speaks of relationship, the mirror of others. I feel that some of you with this full moon in Scorpio with a water moon um, in your natal chart, there's an activation that you're undergoing that is going to show you momentum, especially because you are, you know, trining you know you're creating a trine with this um full moon in scorpio except if you're you know uh, scorpio moon but <laughs> it's what enhances the energy of this message so there's a lot of manifestation of your abundance that is going to be sped up at this time my emotions move through cycle and connect me to my truth I feel as some of you with this energy. Okay, this is interesting. Because she's facing this way, the antelope is facing that way. This full moon in Scorpio, dear water moons, is teaching you, just like with the term of prosperity, and the fact that there's a trine, a trine is a momentum. Now, whether it's positive or negative is in your hands. And it's showing me that you're going to notice with the full moon in Scorpio how fast of a momentum you can get in your manifestation. Whether it's focused on negativity or positivity, it's in your hands. But you're going to want to pay attention to your focus. You're going to want to also pay attention to your emotions, how maybe a thought creates an emotion and an emotion is an energy in motion so it moves you and it shows that your body and whatever it contains with this full moon in Scorpio is is going to be really shining through there's going to be illumination within what is that you're holding inside your body and especially with the water I feel like you might want to review the quantum fascia healing playlist okay so this is a playlist by the way when i mention some of those videos sometimes they're here above or i started listing all the playlists in the description box so you will have access to the quantum fascia healing playlist because here my water moons you're showing really strong signs that this energy is going to show you through momentum, but through the body, how the energy moves through you. And that means that when you're going to be in a high vibrational state, pay attention what it moves you to do. So some of you, I don't know why, when I said that, I saw you going into nature much more. There is a, a call towards tapping into the vibration of the earth. Now, the day before, we're celebrating Mother Earth on April 22nd. So there's something that I already posted in my reels about the Akashic activation of your DNA. The Earth is ascending herself. So when we celebrate her, there's this, this connection, this, this momentum for us to activate our connection to the crystal heart of the Earth and also our soul, and just having more access to 
how to lead our lives according to our soul's oath and purpose. Yeah. See, I felt like, I, like just everything that I said, I felt like it came as a block, like as a, as a whole block of, of energy. And I feel like for you, this is what I'm feeling. You're going to be able to channel blocks of information, but the same way, if you're feeling stagnant, like realize that it's like, it's a block. There's so much that's trying to income your way. I'm feeling it strongly for you. Look at this. Wow. Look at this full moon energy on this dragon. Wow. Golden solar dragon helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom, the control of your mind. Remember, because your mind starts a certain emotion and it's there is a momentum. Wow. And look at this. Let your DNA be reprogrammed and light codes activated. Become an inspired leader. Wow. I feel just such great... I was going to use the word passion. Like some of you, there's there's been like dormant passion within your cells. You know, and you know, and what is passion is also connected to what we saw in the astrology. If you didn't see it, go and check out the beginning of this reading. Uh, that conjunction with Jupiter and Uranus. One is spiritual growth and one is a spiritual or, you know, just evolution and growth um, altogether. So we're expanding and we're growing and it's focused on joy, positivity, optimism. It's in your cells and it's almost like giving you access to it. Now let's see this little card. Mm. There is some, there is definitely here. I'm, I'm going back to my quantum fascia healing playlist. Okay. Because there are some ties to sever. Some of you, if you are, I'm just noticing I'm wearing my Muna <laughs> shirt. Uh, some of you, if you are YouTube members of the music, you know, um, option, definitely work with the releasing X's and hexes. This is such a powerful frequency. The ones that the frequencies that are really strong in the sound engineering and are dedicated for the members because it's like if you're working with those sounds and you're seeing the effect, then you can step into the higher levels of this type of energy work. So we'll start with the quantum fascia. And if you're seeing how it supports your momentum, okay. Uh, in terms of maybe stopping the momentum when you're faced with negativity, then maybe some of you, if you have especially a lot of natal six house, seven house, eighth house, I would say that would be a great option. Okay. Now, uh, while I was reading the astrology, I was also noticing that uh, with the F Jupiter and Uranus, conjunction, I had dreamt about creating a depression uh, frequency for the pharmacy playlist. So you, um, you can expect it to be there around the full moon energy. All right, let's get some further messages here. For you, my dear water moons. gonna wait I'm gonna wait <laughs> this is interesting the Sun is in the placement of patience so some of you it's it's for some of you not everyone but some of you if you're about to make certain decisions wait make sure that your decisions are based on not on an impulse, not on a program. Some of you, it's, it's, I've seen this like months ago, like noticing myself really having to pay attention on how, you know, I could get triggered and then I would like run a certain story in my head and be like, wait a second, 
hold on. What's happening right now doesn't mean... Because there's... Some of you, if you have experienced traumatic, repetitive manifestation in your reality, realize that it's almost like you, your body is not, and your mind is not trying to do this against you. It's trying... It's actually thinking it's protecting you. So once you notice... That it's 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 a fight or flight, okay. And so once you know that your body is actually always working in your favor, you're also realizing, hey, I'm 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 able to feel this reaction in my body when maybe there's no danger or there's no need for me to make a decision right now. There's no emergency. So it's saying here, okay. Some of you, if you have very important decisions. I don't know why, but I'm feeling some of you could be even about a job. Um, it could be about something that has to do with your security, maybe your income. Uh, we saw that there was a lot of things linked to prosperity. It's saying, watch, observe a little bit more. Okay. Let's see what this card says. Oh, good. The 10 of water. So this is interesting because it came in the reverse. Okay. But I'm putting it up right because we've talked about this. The Ten of Cups is about like everything is being fulfilled and met. But there's also this energy of like pouring, okay? It's pouring water. And some of you, there might be certain, you know, emotions that you have to rethink, okay? They're emotions, they're energy that move through you because of a certain thought process that your body, your mind adopted just to protect you. Okay. Some of you, even if you had like things just like accidents, car accidents, bike accidents, you know, falling off a bicycle as a kid, whatever, like there could be some type of protective mechanism that needs to be released. Okay. Again, definitely quantum fascia healing for you, my water moons. Um, you can also meditate with the moon frequency, okay? The moon frequency will reveal, especially when you're working with the moon frequency around the time when the moon, you know, is honored and celebrated, just like where we're honoring the earth, uh, or all those cycles. There's, there's downloads and more stream of information that can be strongly felt, okay? So you have that option. Let's see what else for you, water moons. Okay, there's a card for everyone. <laughs> I don't know why this one stay. You know, I think this is really because I told you there's a lot of emotions. Some of you, there's a need to uh, purge those emotions. And that means realizing what type of stream of thought is creating this. Let me back you up a little bit. You have some space. See, like, even when I say those things, like, back you up a little bit, like, okay, let's almost, like, go back and, and look, observe a little bit more that situation to see if everything is there. See, I feel like, oh, let me elevate you. <laughs> so interesting. Okay. We have here the Ace of Air. Love this. This is about truth. There's definitely here, through this full moon in Scorpio, some higher truths that are coming for you. Um, and this truth is within you. I'm feeling this is, this is not something that's going to be from outside, even though we're working with mirrors, but the truth of yourself has always been inside of yourself. And some of you maybe being in this fight or flight, you know, mechanism has disallowed you, disempowered you from seeing your true direction. And especially if some of you are trying to make decisions that are important towards your stability, your abundance, your prosperity, your money, um, I would say know that, especially with this full moon in Scorpio, you're going to be revealed what needs to be removed inside, okay? So things that were created out of protective patterns, you know, just like, imagine like a parent that is trying to protect their child from falling when they're toddlers, it's just like, <gasps> you know, that... <gasps> That, that kind of like fear and sometimes nothing happens, but it's, it's, it's sometimes just there. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities through the conjunction of the uh, celebration of the earth day and the full moon here in Scorpio 
to reveal a lot of things that are dormant inside your cells. Let's look at those ties here. Eight of air. This is the eight of swords. This is definitely about uh, bringing clarity on some of the things that here were tying you to the past. But to look at this, this is beautiful. This is a full moon for you, my water moons, where you're going to detach from a lot of old, uh, worn out, uh, karmic pattern. Some of you maybe can be karmic contracts that are coming to an end. Um, and again, it's because you have to learn certain things. And some of you, I feel it's, it's a very strong teaching about mastering your mind. So it, it, it helps you move towards the thing you want instead of gravitating towards the thing you want to prevent. You know, it's like, that's what happens with uh, hypersensitive uh, children or just people when they become an adult, uh, when they've been in a stressful environment, they just tend to gravitate towards the thing they feel are chaotic or going to blow up um, because they're trying to keep the peace. And I feel like some of you, you're really removing yourself from those patterns. Now, this is going to be collectively an energy for everyone. I just want to remember and remind everyone that, you know, uh, when I do those readings, you have the astrology part, and this is going to be a theme for everyone, but especially for you, my dear water moons. This is trining or just conjunct to your energy, natal energy. The moon is connected to the back of your third eye in terms of your cosmic prana. And that means that a lot of the subconscious is being illuminated. I love this, the five of fire. Um, this, in this one, okay, in this good tarot, this is about unleashing creativity. I, I think I mentioned it to you, like how I felt there was passion that was dormant. This is what I was feeling with uh, maybe some of you with uh, also the astrology, with the placement of Pluto in that fifth house. It's like some of you, when you start harnessing those patterns of how this person saying this or just the, some of you, you, you're so sensitive, my water moons, I must say, like you don't even need people to come in play to trigger you. You can just feel the waves and you will start thinking about people, situation, events that trigger this, this chain of reaction. But here you're supported to actually stop the momentum. So when you're watching this, I would say that's great uh, that you're hearing this ahead of time. You can prepare with the quantum fascia healing because if you're hypersensitive, okay, especially the ones that are, you know, strong empath and you gravitate towards, you know, what's chaotic, um, you're going to want to start the work, okay? You're going to want to work with this. You can fall asleep to my frequencies, a lot of the things and a lot of the times it's like, yes, you can do breath work on it. You can chant mantras, but you can also just relax to it because there's a lot of messages. Um, you know, everything that I put in there is written as far as like the subliminals, the mantras, but the frequency engineering helps you attune, you know, and release. Okay. And, and, and find your way. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, what can we expect after shifting all this energy for my water moons? Especially in terms of prosperity, this is an abundance. I can feel it. This is an abundance uh, from the, your higher self wants to be really involved in your evolution. This is what I feel uh, collectively, but especially for you, my water moons here. Okay, three cards. We have the eight of earth, okay, practice. This is saying like, this is going to be an activation and it's going to require for you to practice. Some of you, you're going to want to look at my playlist for the organs. The order of the playlist, okay, the way it's playing the 12 organs is a great order to build chi to build momentum in your chi. So I feel as some of you, uh, that could be something you want to add 
to help you practice. And that can be post full moon, but there's definitely here uh, some of you, some of your organs are trying to tell you about a song that it used to sing. And now we're trying to attune to a new song. Oh, beautiful. A song that is more in alignment with your creation, with the Ace of Water. Do you see, like, I, I can feel some of you, you're, you hold so much inside of you as far as potential and the universe is trying to burst that bubble. Uh, it's up to you to experience it in the light and the supportive way or just in a way that just feels very contrasted. But the energies are strong, especially because there is a T-square, so don't expect it to be smooth, but expect it to also bring it to your own advantage. It's powerful. It's powerful. So if some of you are just like ready to remove and be aware of those patterns, that's going to be a great full moon event. Look at this. Becoming a master. I love, I love for you water signs as far as like water moon placement. Uh, this mastery of your emotions, the mastery of your subconscious, being able to catch whatever subconscious patterns. Um, I feel in... I just want to add this little message. Some of you, this type of mastery and uh, learning how to hear the subconscious program while you're still in the 3D activity is going to be a gift that you can support others with. So there's a purpose also for, for you through the challenges, okay? But there's going to be practice and mastery. Let yourself be initiated. Try to remove your ego from this process. That's what I have for you. If you have any questions regarding this reading, need more clarity on um, the frequencies, you can find them there. But, you know, this is my work of heart when I work with frequencies. So if you need clarity, uh, you can always email me. You also have access to the guidances, the personal readings. You can see all those offers there. Thank you so very much for being here, for your light work, for, you know, everything that you're doing, for feeling, being, and creating in greater ways, in prosperous ways, because it's a ripple effect for everyone. Namaste. If you were born with a natal moon in a fire placement, so moon in Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius, those messages are for you for this full moon in Scorpio. You have at the beginning of this video, the astrology part. And then if you want an idea of the collective energy, you can always watch the water element. All right, so let's see what we have for you, my dear fire moons. Let's see, let's see what is in store for me. <laughs> That's what I heard. What is in store for you? All right. Okay, so there's two cards here. We're going to take them. Um, oh, wow. That was a flyer. And another one here. Okay. Yeah. I, I, okay, okay. There's a lot of questions. I feel <laughs> some of you with fire moons, this energy. Um, there's a lot of... Um, topic on prosperity, on abundance, uh, but it does require our patience. It does requiring honoring our cycles of growth and especially being initiated and communicating with our higher selves. This, this full moon in Scorpio is super intense with this topic. It wants to free you from the old patterns. It wants to support you in leading, almost I would say like, your business, whatever is your business, in a soulful way, in a very soulful, spiritual way. Okay, let's see what we have. Dove spirit, be at peace. Be peace, not you. <laughs> Sorry, be at peace. <laughs> now, with the number 21, this refers to uh, the angles of the zodiac that speaks of learning. There's a lot that here you're learning through this phase, my dear fire moons. But it says to you, like, be at peace. Be at peace, whatever is um, happening around you, especially that the sacred geometry of this full moon. Let's be honest, it's a T-square, it's volatile, it's intense. 
So it's going to spark a lot of, it's going to make you reflect on your own autopilot mechanism, your own fight or flight type of reaction. This is something I explain, especially for the water moons, because it's the collective, but also because they're connected in a very flowy way to this energy conjunction and trine. Uh, what happens is that your body, when you're thinking something, there's an emotion and the emotion has an energy and a momentum forward or a momentum back or whatever. It puts you into a certain reaction and that's fight or flight. Okay. So you're going to be reviewing a lot of your own fight or flight type of mechanism. Okay. What <laughs> I'm hearing, what controls you and making sure that we're bringing peace now with this full moon. We are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. Now, this is interesting because there is here uh, a lot of seventh house energy that we saw in the astrology. A lot of things that are speaking of what makes us powerful or initiate our own creation, but also what doesn't allow us to do that okay and so there's a lot of reviewing on the pattern of thoughts the habitual patterns that we adopted because remember your body is thinking that it's protecting you that's a mechanism that we have the fight or flight it's trying to protect you from repeating certain things that maybe you still haven't fully processed I'm feeling a lot of energy of flow okay so this water energy for you fire is it's probably going to um, help you with releasing some of the inflammation around some past events, programs, reactiveness. Mm. Um, I'm hearing it, so I'm going to um, to share it. I'm I'm seeing. I, I don't know why I'm paying attention to the bathing suit. So any type of bathing. Baths are going to be super supportive for you. Showers, uh, going to the ocean if you can, the rivers, um, but definitely a swimming pool, whatever you have accessible. Moving and moving the waters within the cells. Oh, wow. I am ready. Thank you. This is beautiful. With this huge full moon. I feel this is a very cleansing full moon for you, my dear fire moons. Very cleansing. Like it's a, it's almost like I'm feeling the um, balance between acidity and alkaline and making sure that you're neutral with the be at peace. You're neutral. You're 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 bringing a soil for prosperity that is neutral, that you're almost like removing the the stories of the past. So the new seeds, you almost like have a whole different garden. It's not the same garden. We're not, we're not, we're not seeing the, the weeds from the past. That's what the full moon in Scorpio is creating for you and is inviting you to do. If you're struggling with the shedding of those waters, that's what came up for the water element. And I can see it's going to be probably for everyone. Work with the quantum fascia healing playlist. I've put all my playlists for my music healing in the description box so people can find it easily. Um, and I would also suggest working with the pharmacy. I have anger and irritability so far, and I have just released anxiety um, but I dreamt two days ago, uh, which I saw also in the astrology, um, I'm going to create depression. Uh, so any type of things that could have depressed you or cut you out of your fire, kept you from your momentum. Maybe some of you, you had to deal with feeling disempowered in your relationships. And now you're, the universe wants you to focus on the empowering, loving, supportive relationship that you're attracting and creating at this time. Wow, look at this. You have the water dragon, which helps you flow easily around obstacles. 
I have to share this with you, you guys, because I uh, recently had Ganesh, so the elephant god um, that removes obstacle that I have in my car. <laughs> and uh, that helped me through my life so much, reciting and chanting his mantra, especially the first time that I saw miracles around this was for prosperity, was for manifestation. I had gone through a very uh, harsh car accident, didn't have a car, I needed a car for working, and um, I didn't have a good credit score. And I literally went to the auto dealership. I, it was a very long shot, but I stayed there and I chanted the mantra for five hours while waiting for the financial guy to make all the calls, only to be called after five hours and to find in his, in his um, office a statue from Ganesh and be, you know, uh, announced that I was getting a loan. So that was for me such a beautiful story. And I'm feeling this with the word obstacle for you. It's just like maybe some of you, you're very connected to the power of your voice. Use your voice for affirming things that you want, okay? Christ's light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow. That's very um, beautiful. I feel that spirit has a way for you to navigate this phase, navigate around this full moon in Scorpio that might be a little bit different than what you were used to. So be open, be open to the changes because some of you, I feel that you were maybe stuck in a wheel that were not as, that was not as peaceful. It's almost like, you know, it's like becoming addicted to the drama, becoming addicted or uh, having a tendency to gravitate towards that chaos because it's been living in your cells and in your reality so long. You're moving this out of your manifestation, your potential. And let's see what we have here. Not the right time. This is interesting. Um, there is something about time that is important, um, that showed up also in the collective message. If you're supposed to make decisions, okay, at this time, I don't know if it has to do with the fact it just came through for you, uh, my dear, um, fire moons, because Mercury is still in retrograde. I feel that there's some type of clarity, maybe some of you, you have specific questions and guidance you're trying to figure out about certain moves in your life, okay, because of that readiness. Maybe some of you, it's about building community. Maybe it's taking a leap into a, a, a different environment, a different space, maybe even a different job. Um, it's saying like, wait, Wait, wait for the, all the elements, all the obstacles to be removed because there's some certain things that you don't take into account. Some of you, maybe it's also the obstacles maybe to your new ventures. There's also the players and interactors with you, like the people that you're going to partner with, they might have also things to move in their reality. So trust the divine plan is what I feel here. There is a greater plan. All right, let's get some more messages here. All right, for my fire moons, it's 1111 on the portion of your recording. So for you, when you'll see 1111, you'll think about this full moon in Scorpio, my dear fire moons, because there's an awakening. And I feel that every time you see 1111, I tell yourself, obstacles in my higher path are being removed now. Everything that I need is within and everything that I see without is in alignment with my soul's growth and oath. Um, I don't know where that came from. I wouldn't be able to repeat it, but there's something about, <laughs> there is something about you witnessing 1111 being an activation, an awakening for all these obstacles uh, probably also this readiness for a new venture, for a new project, for a new community, for a new alignment of your life, materialize with more peace around your relationships, your own celebration of your own uniqueness. Um, 
all of this, every time you'll see 1111 is awakening and is removing the obstacles. It's like pathways are being open. I love this. I love when the numbers show up like this so strongly. Wow. And I'm hearing, especially with this community card and the readiness, there's there's more than one you know it's 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 a it's a collective work so know that every time you'll see 11 11 around this time for the full moon in scorpio things are aligning in the greatest ways for this project to manifest all right let's see this one just feels like it wants to speak first the messenger of fire that was reversed. Hmm. Okay, so I feel with this that came reverse. Remember, some of you, there's probably a lot of ideas, but there's something about certain obstacles. It's almost like, imagine like when you have a certain album to release or a project, it seems that there's more elements that are coming into play for the project to be as powerful as you can envision it, okay? I feel as some of you, there is a lot of creativity. Remember, there was that Pluto in the fifth house uh, where it's in also a position that speaks of our entourage. So it seems that whoever you're meant to attract whether it's just situation, doesn't have to be just people, but it seems like there's just some type of architecture around your creative, your creativity, okay? And there's a certain timing. Now, we're going to get some more details about this, okay, that you have to respect. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. <laughs> in case you were doubting, this full moon in Scorpio is saying, not just yet. Not just yet. It's in the works, though. You know, not just yet. It's, it, it means it's just, it's, it's something you're working on. It's just like, some of you, maybe you're, you know, if you've, you, you have certain craft and hobbies, or, you know, I crochet personally. It's almost like, yeah, I'm making a dress right now. When will it be over and finished? Well, you know, it's my first time making a dress with a very complex pattern. Um, we'll see. You know, it's almost like, let's enjoy the process versus trying to already wear the dress. You know, just let's enjoy the process. I'm just giving you as a little in illustration. Now, let's see here. I am ready. The seven of air. In this one, it speaks of uniqueness. In this good tarot, it speaks of, again, a multiple, multiplicity, like a lot of, of ideas. Now, in the regular tarot, this is the seven of swords. And usually there's certain things that, you know, are deceptive. Okay, so I feel that you are, not only the relationships for your project are getting ready, but you are getting ready. You are getting ready for this. Some of you, maybe you've already done a lot of light work, shadow work. It's just a repetition, a practice. This showed up in the collective reading, you know, as far as the water. Um, that being, <clears throat> okay, the mercury again with the throat. There's certain things, some of you, Go and check out if you have access to um, my YouTube membership that channels the Mercury retrograde. Go and check out your Mercury placement and the message there. Because it seems like there are certain things there that needs to be highlighted. Okay. The Hermit. Hmm, interesting with this. And I pull it reverse. So again... Some of you, I feel that maybe your impatience is around, you know, really wanting to be a part of something, a part of a group, really having, you know, this, this desire for deep, soulful relationships. 
Uh, and whatever was the path that you had to do to go through, I feel that especially with this energy here and the Mercury, there could have been some betrayals, there could have been some lies, there could have been, you know, m less than ideal relationship that you experienced, but there is a purpose for it. Let's see if we can get more here. The Five of Earth. You know what's interesting? This is usually the Five of Pentacles. Okay, I feel that it's almost as if the universe is saying with this full moon in Scorpio for you, fire moons, that there is a uniqueness in you. There is a certain potential that you've been developing and that you've been working on and that you're still uh, almost like an art. You're just still rehearsing again and again. And it was it's it feels like it's showing me that if you had been part of you know the loving community and 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 all the things you aspire to you know from the beginning, you might have never opened that door. It's almost like some of you I posted about this, and it was a message from time. So some of you have been you know really called by my higher self to channel more of the picker cards, go and check out the picker card for a message from time. Because the reel that I created around time and the message from time was that, you know, inherently you have this capacity to always create, to love, but especially just overcome your suffering and make it something greater. We saw that it was important with the placement of Saturn in the sixth house, there is here a lot of shift that are happening. So maybe some of you uh, pay attention to your health, nurture yourself, because it's almost like the more you nurture yourself, as if maybe some of you, you feel lonely, separated, as if that was that that's what it is, the acceptance of what it is. Um, it seems to nourish your flame. Whatever you're doing right now that is very more about nurturing yourself and your potential is getting an alignment that is has much more ripple effect. And I think that it's because some of you, when you want to be part of this whole, you want to make sure that everyone activates also their potential and that there's no one that is like more of a leader or more important or higher. There's this thing about honoring everyone. And I feel like this is... An important passage I'm hearing from the word passage for you with this woman in Scorpio is harnessing your own uniqueness, harnessing everything that you've learned and saying like, wait, the time, it's almost like the time is here, but it's, it's something that you harness. It's almost like, yes, the time is here because you're time, you're timeless. You just have to wait, just like an athlete, when they're going to create that, like that, that, that gold medal or whatever. It's just, it's almost like they just have this spirit moving them. They just know when it's the right time to just go, okay? So there's a readiness that you're rehearsing. Let's see what else we have for you. Once we have, you know, harness all this potential, by the way, again, uh, work with the pharmacy, work with the quantum fascia healing playlist. If you want around the moon, the full moon, uh, work with the moon frequency. This is, just, you know, when you honor and celebrate the planet like this, it, it, it does download and activate us in greater ways. And this is connected to the back of your third eye in terms of cosmic energy and prana. Mm, not yet. This one. <laughs> Interesting. Not yet. There was a message, but not yet. Okay. All right. Let's see what was this one. The two of fire. Look at this. Work on your vision. And the way to work on your vision is to nurture the light. You see here, there's a vision. This is uh, the giraffe who speaks of higher vision. She's holding the light. It's almost like you're here. You have that same light inside of you. And the higher self is showing you, follow the light from the higher self. Follow the guidance, follow the nudges. This is very important. This is what, you know, when I said like, not yet. This is what your higher self wants you to hear. First, you know, nurture this. 
This is important. The two of earth. Um, make sure that you allow yourself to have, you know, um, pleasure in that time of initiation, I feel, you know, when, when you're being shown how to create prosperity, how to create prosperity inside of yourself, make sure that you cut your day with uh, fun things, fun times, fun hobbies, things that fulfill your heart. Yes, the fool. You are the creator. You are you're creating something with the full moon in Scorpio. There's an illumination of a lot of things that you want to manifest, and it's showing you the way. It's it's not linear. It is not linear. You're having the vision. Don't force it. Don't push it. Messenger of air. This, um, you some of you. There, you have a role of that's in within communication, within a community. Maybe it's a communication with spirit, with the hermit, the messenger, and the community. Maybe to help people bridge the gap between the spirit and the material world. But again, ultimately, what I feel is so precious is that all the blessings that you've been wanting to manifest, my fire moons, they're coming through you following the light within and that connection with the light, you know, from source. So it's just like, it's just a, this holy trinity, you know, that I'm feeling for you. Um, that is very powerful. Okay, so that's what I have for you, fire moons. If you have any questions about how to use the frequencies, you can always email me. You'll find this below. And if you need personal guidance, I do have a bunch of things that I'm offering at this time. Please check out my link and check my schedule. Thank you so very much. Namaste. If you were born with an earth moon placement, so moon in Taurus, in Virgo or Capricorn, those messages are for you for the full moon in Scorpio. So we started the video with the astrology, if that's something you want to check out. The collective message is also going to be found in the water element because of the Scorpio placement for this moon. But now, if you would just want to listen to yours, they're going to be here, even though sometimes there's a lot from the collective that comes forward as far as collective messages. I, it's so funny because, you know, I give a certain introduction for everyone and it, I didn't, it's almost like I, there's an emphasis with the collective here. So let's see why. Um, just, just something about the word collective. There's a second card. Okay. Mm -hmm. For my earth moons what do we have you know maybe because just the day before there is earth day celebration and that's something that i shared um i believe with the collective reading for the water you know how with the celebration of the earth there's an access to the ascension and the process all the downloads from the earth so we're we're at a point where the moon is embedded with a lot of those codes as well. And it's going to activate your DNA. It's going to activate your Akash records, your Akashic DNA. Why is that? Because, you know, as a physical body, your heart in the perfect fifth is connected to your soul star chakra and is connected to the earth star chakra in the perfect fifth. And that's there's an activation with Earth Day where we're able to access certain of the re records, certain access to the library. If that's something that you want to check out, I did do a picker card reading for the Akash, so you can go and check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that's that's something that's something that that is important for someone or a few of you out there, huh? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> there might be another card here. We'll see. Hmm. All right. 
You feel quite mysterious at this time of displacement, my dear Earth Moons. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> With the owl spirit, you see clearly now the number 43, which is very interesting, is that this is the exact placement on the zodiac wheel where we have the full moon in Scorpio, the grief 43, okay? Well, not degree, but, um, you know, angle 43. So this full moon in Scorpio, if you were born with an earth moon, there is something that illuminates your, your, your inner sight, okay? Like no other. Okay, let's see if we're... Oh, wow. Sweet results await. About, definitely, some of you, if you... It's, it, if you've been wanting to manifest prosperity with an earth moon, it seems that things are aligning so beautifully for you. You're going to have, look at this, there's even a full moon behind. You're going to have ideas and clarification. Clarification. Let's see if in terms of time, you need to move forward right away. I would say intuitively, wait a little bit, okay? Because sweet way, results await. But also it came up in the collective and it's also in the stars, but there's also Mercury retrograde still at this time. Okay, so I would say usually Mercury retrograde is a time where we're being called to honor the review and momentum and just honor then the time where it moves forward, where we can start putting those things together. Okay. I would say some of you, you might, if you have a Mercury retrograde, you could feel differently about this, okay? Because it's your natal momentum. So again, take everything with a grain of salt and how it relates. We're going to see the other cards. Love and intimacy flows into my life effortlessly. Beautiful. There's just some, I, this feels like DNA activation. Didn't I just give you a speech about the DNA activation? <laughs> Look at this, with the cycles of the moon. Wow. Some of you, you watching this, you're very mystical. You're very, very connected to spirit. I can feel it. I don't know who I'm feeling. Um, but this is, this is magnificent. And now we have, wow, look at all those pink, pink. The rose pink dragon prepares your heart to connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart. Open your heart to warm hearted love and diamond light. Connect with the love of the universe. Now, to go into putting together all those messages, because this full moon in Scorpio is about your abundance, okay? It's about your abundance um, and, and showing you how to nurture the cycle of your abundance, how to create that garden with certain factors that I saw in the sacred geometry and literally also kind of explode away, remove very strongly all the obstacles, if any. What I'm feeling for you is that with a moon in an earth placement, your relationship to self-care, self-love, nurture, being, you know, being in the movement of softness, vulnerability is actually just such a great way for you to conceive and see clearly where this path is leading you, how to manifest this in such greater ways. You're going in the right direction with, with a pendulum that's I don't know if the computer shows it, but on my side, it's pink. You know, I don't see if the card is really showing the color, but it's pink. So again, a lot of pink. Some of you, you may want to work with rose quartz at this time. Rhodonite, I'm hearing. Yeah. And also, <laughs> I don't know what. And where, what, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I have no idea how this lipstick <laughs> is here by my table. Okay, or just wear pink. Um, 
or just there's something also beautifying your environment, feeling pretty, feeling handsome, um, but having this this connection to your self care, to your beauty, to your softness, creating intimacy in everything feels very important for you to have more clarity, because I feel like when there's gonna thing have things that don't feel right and unnurturing to you. It's going to be such a contrast that it's going to be clearer for you that things need to change. My voice just kind of cracked a little bit. So I do feel that uh, be patient for Mercury to turn direct again. Okay. For maybe even if you're comfortable because you have a Mercury retrograde, maybe you're facing peoples and relationship that don't have that in their favor. And, um, be be loving and caring in that sense but also i'm hearing be firm be firm in what you uh create for yourself that's that's a, a reel that i created about softness and vulnerability instead of building yourself a thicker skin and you know ability to take the hit and the and the hurt no 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 so uh, just create a space where that doesn't even have space for existing Nah, yeah, that feels right for you. That feels right for you. Okay, and I feel like until, for you, when I said with this card and taking another card, I said, not yet. I say, until you feel that you've built this type of surrounding for yourself, then the time is just, is still in the process, it's maturing, okay, the sweet results are there, you can sense and you can feel them, because you nurture them inside of you, and you're going in the right direction, but as far as the manifestation of it all, just be patient with yourself, and um, honor your boundaries, honor the sacredness of what you believe is right for you, because when it's right for you, it's going to be right for the people that you invite in that space as well. All right, let's see what we have under the pink dragon. The king of air. This is, this is where I feel, you know, again, I, this, I think like a, a few readings ago, I, it was the first time that I felt like it could almost be like a scarf. Um, Remember when I said respect and honor your boundaries, I feel this is an energy that is an embodiment. Some of you, maybe you're, you're trying to speak your boundaries and it's almost like the universe is trying to teach you how to embody those boundaries so they're not crossed, okay? The nine of air. Could be the end of a cycle where this type of energy was a struggle there's a lot of air here maybe some of you are also very telepathic it was a struggle to kind of harness your ability to focus interesting and then the nine of fire okay so nine nines is going to be an activation so double nines triple nines around the full moon in Scorpio is a message is a manifestation maybe for some of you especially with the nine of fire under the sweet result okay um, that your boundaries need to be honored okay honor your boundaries honor your wisdom the nine is wisdom honor your wisdom honor your boundaries it's a, a manifestation, maybe at when you see 99 or 999 in your reality, to make sure that you're honoring that space, okay? Because there might be a shift or there might be um, just something that you need to honor for yourself. Maybe it also is the space that you need for receiving what the universe is trying to send you, okay? Oh, wow. Mm. You have to see, and it was in the shadow, because uh, it was the, I was trying to shuffle more cards for you. This was part of the collective reading, and again, I feel that it's very important if you have an Earth placement to watch the collective reading. We had this card um, towards the end, 
And it said, you know, you're, this is going to be practice. What you're being taught to maintain that space, to maintain, and wow, I had not even seen, I had not even seen, this is actually a person. You see it? The hand? I feel this is, like some of you, it's very dear to your heart to have relations, soulful relationships. And practicing embodiment of your sacred boundaries for your wisdom to be appreciated, to be honored, and for the others to have that same space is a practice that you're being initiated or shown through the full moon in Scorpio. It's very, it's an important practice. Mm. Okay. Um, I do want to mention some of you. Maybe you want to look in the description box below for the 12 organ playlist. I put the organs in a pattern that you can just put the playlist to fall asleep to that builds up your chi. Okay, that builds up life force. Okay, and, and not in a way that is going to awake you, or what, but that that kind of like moves uh, whatever is in your organs. Okay, so some of you, if you're playing this at night, maybe there's some dreams that are connected to certain awareness that you need to have, whether it's regarding your boundaries or whether it is about building this project, because there's like here with the nine of air which is swords and the nine of wands with fire there's there's certain emotions and certain thoughts that we're trying to remove from the space of creation and i feel as some of you especially with the bee here um maybe your sweetness was attracting a lot of i'm hearing wasp <laughs> um Okay, so there's this, if, if you've been, it, it, relationships are very strong. For some of you, maybe you have seventh house um, energy in your chart. You see the seven here, uh, which, oh my God, you, you, I told you this is the placement of the moon, but I did not realize this is the placement of the sun in the zodiac, the degrees of Taurus where we have it, the sun. <gasps> You're so connected cosmically some of you i'm saying you're just really here to do great great work for bridging the gap between the spirit and um and the earth the two of fire came came up in the fire element this is an initiation for you to listen to the guidance of spirit you already have this intricately. This full moon in Scorpio is trying to illuminate whatever needs to be reinforced, whatever it may have been weakening you in the past and being removed, especially with those, those, those cards, the tarot that came after those great initiation. But you are on the right path. Everything is aligning perfectly. But whenever there is intensity, know that it's trying to teach you certain things the nine of water okay. you're literally everything in this reading for you with an earth moon is speaking of fulfillment all you want is feeling fulfilled with relationship with love with community with any interaction with the collective you know there's this strong desire and it's going to be accessible to you as you work through those I'm hearing the word shadows, and I feel some of you, the shadows could be in the fascia, so the water, in the structured water in the body, or your organs, okay? So that's going to be uh, the frequency work that you can address. If you have any questions about the frequency and how to use it, this is my work of heart, so please reach out. I'll be happy uh, to guide you, to explain to you whatever is unclear to you. If you need personal guidance, you have the link to book with me, see my schedule. Thank you so very much for being here. Namaste. If you were born with a natal moon in an air placement, those are your messages. So let's pull the cards first 
And if you want to listen to the astrology part, it's at the beginning or the collective message would be for the water element. So definitely hear about manifesting abundance, prosperity, and certain signs um, have a certain focus, you know, from what I've seen so far. So let's see what we have for you, my dear air moons, that is of the essence for you with this energy. The full moon is going to feel a little bit intense because of the sacred geometry, but again, intense is also powerful. So it just depends on how, I don't know why I want to say that to you, but how open you are, okay, open you are with this process and open to your higher self and its guidance. I am just very, very curious about all this here. <laughs> okay. You, you're wanting things in a different order. And we are going to honor that. Okay, so there, there might be something about order, disorder, declutter. Okay, that was part also of the astrology. Let's see what we have for you. Let go. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you see how this this happens. It's it, sometimes I'm wondering why I have cards, but I love cards. I love having the double confirmation, but also I love the drawings, the expression. There's a transformation if you have your moon in an air placement. So I don't think I mentioned it, but Gemini, moon in Gemini, moon in Libra, or moon in Aquarius. There's a transformation, and I love that there's the pink here, energy. Right away, if you're hearing this and you're feeling frustration, or you're feeling like, again, or, eh, okay, um, I would suggest my um, portal energy uh, frequency, which was the surrendering, the power of surrendering or surrendering is the portal frequency. This is part of the playlist, the empath survival kit. Okay. I listed in the description box below all my playlists. So uh, survival kit. <laughs> Surrendering, because sometimes it's just not easy. It's not easy. Okay, I mean, yeah. Okay, so let's see those cards. Okay, collaboration brings some sweetness into my life and into the world. It came in reverse, um, and because it comes with the let go, I feel as some of you, maybe there was some disappointment. Know that also, in the pharmacy, I've created anger, irritability. I just released anxiety. And two days ago, I dreamt about creating depression, um, which I did not know was a right frequency. I usually use the right frequency and then I receive additional, uh, you know, um, additional guidance on maybe acupuncture triggers and points that I can engineer in the sound. So there's something here as far as maybe feeling aggravated or any type of way towards certain situations involving others um, that right now the universe wants you to release. I do feel this is because there's so much greater interactions waiting for you. I do believe it. But that, that the let go was almost like it, it came together. Oh, I am ready. Thank you. Yes, once you do that. Okay, so now it makes sense. You see, there, there was like this, this weird, like extra, extra message for you. It's some, some of you, maybe you're still uh, feeling the eclipse uh, portal energy and there's still some residue, still some things to declutter. Uh, remember, that's where that full moon in Scorpio resides with the prosperity it's like for you to prosper you also need 
to know what you need to weed out because you're talking about prosperity just like a garden of creation like there's things that were planted through your experience whether consciously or subconsciously and as you observe what has been blooming flourishing whether it's weed or what the flowers you want or the fruits you want you're going to want to attend to that garden and then we have i am of the earth in harmony with nature the activation of celebrating earth day on the 22nd just a day prior to this moon is so important i can feel it i've been feeling it dreaming of it creating reels around it um i released an akashic record pick a card i feel there's a message for some of you something that you're not seeing okay that wants to come forward something that you're meant to create i'm hearing wow that's beautiful all right let's see what else hawk spirit let spirit be your guide okay if you have an air moon this energy is, is showing me there could be some resistance in the seventh house placement so some of you that seventh house was very much about aries you might be an aries sun with an air moon you could you know have certain aries placement that could be interactive or you could have if it's not in your chart it could be also people with aries placement triggering you because i could feel that whatever it is about making you feel powerless okay making you feel that uh feel things are unfair um there's not a proper give and take exchange to so some of you if you're struggling with getting the pay you feel you deserve the income you deserve this is definitely a full moon that's going to help you realize the thing you're still clinging on to that are not allowing you to tap into your infinite abundance in connection with spirit this full moon feels very very connected to manifesting a soulful relationship to everything so that means your business or your work is going to be soulful everything wants to be connected on all layers of body i just really feel it uh while i was channeling the astrology now we have the blue dragon from the pleiades prepares you to accept source healing accept a heart activation give and receive heart healing i told you and it is under here some of you you've been wanting more of a fair exchange i have a solution for some of you that resonate with feeling that unfairness uh, we talked about the surrendering in the empath okay but here i do believe you want to work with the law of attraction and sacred union it works with om mani padme hum a very powerful mantra that helps you remove the ego jealousy content competition it all those like very lower um expression of you know humankind as far as being in the primal state of being so if some of you you're you're maybe caught in the hustle bustle of the nine to five or struggling with having space for yourself just to meditate just to clear your head go and listen to it go and even fall asleep to it it's um i do believe it's in the same playlist but let me check that for you i love how i had to check this for you it's part of the auric health and wealth uh, so those are frequencies for shadow work and light retrieval and um i love how i actually spoke of surrendering and allowing what is meant for you so there's definitely confirmation here for you my dear air moons about give and take receiving and letting spirit be your guide in terms of aligning you to everything that is really what you want at a hard soul uh level okay so let's see what we have father for you with the tarot cards okay a little more a little more 
there's something about surrendering deeper. I feel that some of you, it's not about doing more, but being more. And that's really, I would say, like releasing the need to do, but more in the receptivity of when you just are. This is why I do the music, you guys, because that's the best way for me to find my like peace, my power place, but in from a place of peace is through sound. I am so sensitive to sound and it supports me like in greater ways than words could ever do it. Um, I do like words, don't get me wrong, because <laughs> uh, it, it materializes all the things that I feel through sound. Um, but I, I really feel that some of you, this is something that the message when I heard a little more, it was more, more beingness, not necessarily, if you're hearing this guidance from your, your higher self, just know that it's be more present with me. Oh, wow. That like literally the card slid when I, towards me when I said that, and it says here five of fire. Okay. In the regular tarot, this is more about your inner turmoil, struggle, towards yourself your emotions going against yourself but into the good tarot this is speaking of creativity and what i feel is that your higher self is saying you are holding within your cells so much that needs to be unlocked and awakened at this time release the struggle release the battle that maybe your life has made you feel that needs to occur for you to improve or reach your goals and release that tension and allow yourself to receive. I think this is why some of you, maybe you feel that you have to do more to get more and that's a limited perception of what is accessible to you and your higher self wanted you to know that. Okay. The messenger of water. It has to do with this. Let me read that again. Prepares you to accept source healing heart activation okay some of you if you are part of the youtube membership to work with the planets work with venus okay that's for some of you it's your heart if you have a venus retrograde even more so even more so this card is really insisting that your busyness, okay, the busyness is creating too much noise and not, and the messages and the guidance is so much more etherical that you really want to calm down your nervous system, calm your nervous system down. Some of you go and check out, again, the Auric Health and Wealth has great shadow work with working with your aura. And some of you, if you have certain traumas that could create this, go and check out the Empath Survival Kit. Again, all my playlists are listed down below. The Queen of Air. Look at this. Like there's, there's a truth of your being that I believe like you're not, you haven't fully been able to recognize because of the trying to control and to work and do more. I can relate to this energy so much when I tap into the beginning of my awakening. There was just so much, you know, resistance because it's almost like I was getting an insight and then I had to control how it was going to manifest from, even if it was based from spirit's inspiration, I had to really surrender. And I had to sometimes see like certain times I had to work on surrendering and sometimes I had to work on being more in control, more discipline and then letting go again. It's, it's your, I feel for you with this full moon in Scorpio, you're getting a little bit of a crash course <laughs> on connecting and communicating with your higher self in deeper ways. Look at this magician. There's a lot um, of alchemy that reminds me the placement of Saturn here. Uh, some of you, maybe you have Pisces also placement. 
Um, so if you have Pisces placement, that could be even more predominantly important for you. It doesn't have to be, um, but I, it came through. The, you're learning how to work your magic. And your magic comes from spirit. And your magic only knows the intricate ways of its mysterious ways through this subtle art of receiving. It's just, it's something you have to tap into. So I'm hoping that all the supportive expression and things that I gave you can help you. Some of you, if you are advanced and you like breath work, this card always reminds me the album, Your True Abundant Nature. This is different videos. Uh, I have a video tutorial for this. Okay, I explained to you the four videos. Um, and there's some breath work. But especially there is particular frequency, binaural beats that I discovered for doing psychic surgery on your aura, working in like very, very powerful ways. And that, I, I had to say it because some of you, maybe you need some aura intervention. Um, and that's something that is accessible to you. You're receiving this message. So obviously know that you are supported. If you have any questions about this type of energy work with my frequencies, this is my work of heart. Please go and email me. And I would be happy to just direct you if you have any confusion or questions. Just make sure that you refer what reading or what position you've, you know, you're connecting to. So I kind of get an idea. All right. That's what I have for you, my dear Air Moons. This is really powerful. I feel there's another card. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Some of you, if you haven't heard it enough. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Surrender is the portal. Surrender is the portal. Some of you trying to do more through the, this full moon is going to stop this habit of trying to force more because you are needing to understand that you are so deserving, so deserving of all of your needs, of all of your wants, of all of your desires. Just let spirit guide you. Let spirit support you. Thank you so very much. And for personal guidance, look in the description box below. Namaste.